Sirtis canadensis, eastern redbud. These are small trees, 20 to 35 feet high, often with a horizontal or spreading habit, although they can often be multi-stem or clump in form. Foliage is deciduous and leaves are alternately arranged. The leaf shape is obovate or heart-shaped. New growth often emerges somewhat red in color and changes to dark, somewhat lustrous green. There is a conspicuous swelling just below the leaf blade on the top of the petiole. Fall color is yellow. Ornamental features of Sirtis canadensis include a bark which becomes scaly with age, often brown or black on the outside but showing an inner orange colored bark. These have a perfect flower which is usually somewhat red or purple when the bud and opens to a rosy pink. These are born in clusters of four to eight and are interestingly found on the stems and the branches. Flowers give way to a leguminous pod that begins green and becomes brown. The brown pods may persist through the winter. Cultural information for Sirtis canadensis. These are hardy from zones four to nine, do best in full sun, will tolerate part shade. They prefer acidic to alkaline soil conditions, pH five to eight. They can have insect and disease problems, including canker, leaf spot, verticillium wilt, and scale. They're native in Iowa, the Midwestern, and the Eastern USA. Notes for Sirtis canadensis. Buds will swell and begin to flower from May to early June. These grow well from seed, but does have a double dormancy requiring both scarification and stratification. Central Iowa is near the northern range of Sirtis canadensis, although pockets can be found in Minnesota. Northern selections are necessary for far north cold hardiness. While often found in wet locations, these are also tolerant of dry sites once established. Drought stress can severely weaken these trees, making them more prone to pest, insect, disease, and mechanical problems. The leguminous pods indicate that these are members of the Fabaceae or the pea family, and they do have association with nitrogen-fixing bacteria in the soil.